Hey there, it's Asia, and today I wanted to show you guys a tutorial on this amazing casting resin. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed that in a haul video, but if I didn't, I got this at Michael's. Um, and this is a product that I hadn't used um, before I before um, then, and I was kind of looking for something. I was looking for resin, and I couldn't find resin to start. They had moved it. So I, I purchased this thinking it was something different, um, but I end, it ended up being something that I really like, and I've used it a lot since I bought it. So, let me grab the bottle. It looks like it was leaking a little bit. Okay, so... What you're going to need for this is some silicone molds. Here is this one. And then I have some other ones here. But actually, I think I'm going to just use... Let me move these. Um, and so I've been trying to um, show you guys a tutorial on how to use this product. But my... Um, my other phone, I wasn't able to get editing software on that, and it just, I don't know, it just wasn't working right because I had a cracked screen, and it just, like I said, it didn't have the software that this phone has. Um, and with this phone, I can actually pause the video and then go right back to where I left off, which basically... It's kind of like, it's not like editing, but at least I can show you something, pause it, you know, finish it, and then come back and show you guys again. So I'm going to use this Wilton Pumpkin Faces um, silicone mold. This is a really big mold, but I think it is just really cute. It has um, three patterns. It has this kind of like a happy face. Um this type of a face and then it has this scary looking one and I think for today I'm going to use the scary face so what you're going to need is a mold some type of measuring device to measure the equal parts of the resin um, some either like a um, crafting stick or a plastic spoon something to stir it Something to pour the parts into and then be able to pour into the mold. Some scissors in case you get a little extra. Um, which for this mold I won't need it. But for a smaller mold you might pour a little too much and you might have to trim up the edges. Um, you're going to need your resins. And then I just have a piece of cardstock. Just like whatever cardstock that I wouldn't really use for anything else. Underneath all this so that in case it leaks it doesn't get off my table. So... Um, you just start with part A, or it says A side, and I'm going to mix um, one and a half tablespoons. This is the, how much is in this? Let me turn on my light here. It's still pretty dark, even though I have the flash on my camera. So I'm going to pour one and a half tablespoons, and you want to make sure that like, you would any other resin equal. You want to make sure you... Measure equal parts. And I might, you know, I'm going to do, well, you know, I'm going to do, yeah, I guess that'll work. Just to do one and a half tablespoons of each. Okay. And this goes by really fast and I also suggest wearing gloves because I don't like the thoughts of getting this up on my hand so here is part or B side actually I want to keep calling it part A and part B but it's actually A side B side you can call it whatever so I'm going to mix this together and this process starts or happens really quick you have like five minutes so I'm going to pause the video and I'll be right back Okay, guys, so I'm just going to pour this into the mold. I'm actually going to make two here. 
So, we're going to make sure you get all this out. The nice thing about this, and so now I have poured the resin into this in this mold. So, the good thing about this is it only takes 10 minutes to cure. Um, and if you have not used this and you want to purchase it, the way you know it's going to cure, and, and there's instructions with this, um, the way you know it's started to cure is when it turns white. So, I'm going to take off my gloves. I'm going to clean up my area. And when I come back, I will show you guys, um, um, geez, I will show you guys what this looks like once it's cured, and I'll demold these and show you then. So, I will be right back. Hey there. So, I have poured the um, amazing casting resin into the molds. And like I said, it only takes, whoa, what's going on here? 10 minutes for these to cure, and you can tell, again, like I said, once they start to cure, they will turn, the um, resin will turn white. Um, and the reason I use this most, or use this more than I do the regular resin, is because I like the fact that it cures so fast. Um, and then also that you can paint this with the with the regular resin. I wouldn't suggest painting it. Um, you could use your markers on it. Um, you can use your markers on this as well. But I just like the fast curing time. And something you're going to notice as well is that this gets very warm, almost hot to the touch, just because um, that's what happens um, when it starts to cure, like. Once you touch the molds, even now, it's warm to the touch. Um, sometimes it gets even really hot. So you're going to be careful. Um, this should start, or this should take only about maybe five minutes more. So I'm going to pause the video again, and I'll come back once I, once I am able to remove these from the molds. So I will see you then. Hey there, guys. Okay, so I'm back, and as you can see now, these are um, all white. I'm going to give them a couple more minutes to cure. Um, but really quickly, I'm going to move you over here again. I've got my window open, so it's really bright. What I suggest... Wow. Hold on a second. What I suggest you do... I have to close my blinds. Um, let me scoot in a little further. Come on, camera, focus. What's going on? Like, okay, so something is going on with my camera. I don't know what the deal is, but... Okay, so there we go. So what I recommend doing with um, the container that I used, I buy a lot of, like, um, Mott's applesauce and like the different types of diced fruit um, they come in these little cups and I reuse these I just clean them out um, and then use them what I suggest doing is if you can wipe this out um, and if you don't if you don't get to it right away this will also turn white as you can see it's starting to turn white a little bit you can just basically um, take your scissors or like a crafting knife and this will just come out if you just you know like I said let it cure um and then also i have taken some wipes and cleaned this off the one that i'm or the measuring spoon that i used and then that way you'll be able to use it again if not then you'll have a residue in there which can cause your next batch of resin to not cure so we're gonna see if these are ready to take out of the mold, they're very hot to the touch. So let me see here if they're, yeah, they're definitely cured. Let me see if I can get them out of here. Okay. Oh, man, those are hot. Okay. 
So they come out very easily. You just have to kind of manipulate the mold, move it around. Okay. So now, these are what they look like. Sorry, they're very hot. Now the back is very shiny, um, and there is not, there's just a very small lip, and that's another thing I like about this um, product is that the regular resin will tend to form a bit, a, you know, very um, thick lip, and this product doesn't. Like I said, it's very shiny. Now the front part is very matte, which I like. Um, you can paint these, you can put nail polish on them. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this um, orange, or paint this, yeah, orange, and then I'm going to paint like the eyes and the mouth yellow, or do like black, and then orange. So there's the um, the happy face, and then here is, I got into this, here is the kind of scary or spooky face. So... I really like this. If you guys have any questions or comments on how to use this or if you guys need to ask any questions, just comment below and let me know what you guys think. And then next I will be um, uploading my craft room tour. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye.